Hey guys, Noel Stroh here with Oats Lucas bringing you another episode of Catan. Today we're going to go into the Rise of the Inca. Um, if you're familiar with the actual board game in real life, there's a few different versions of this. You of course have the Rise of the Inca, you have the Stone Age, you have Star Trek, you have Game of Thrones. Uh, all Catan based games, but different var variations. Um, overall rules are mainly the same, but how it plays out and what things you can do in it changes. So without further ado... Let's, uh, let's get into it. For this video, uh, we're going to do a little bit more of a quicker way through it. Um, I'm only going to be highlighting the parts that are actually new with this map. And if it's not new, I'm just going to go ahead and edit it right out because it's about how to play it. It's not about me just playing it. It's more fun with having friends with. So, uh, if you look, we have a civilization, we have a settlement, and we have roads, traditionally. We have a very small amount. These are still the same, road, settlement, city, development, right? Opponent, trading with each other. All resources equal each other. I'm not sure what this one is. All resources equal one of those. So a quick overview, wood is still wood. Uh, brick is still brick. Sheep is now uh, llama or alpaca. Um, wheat is now potatoes and ore is still ore. Here's what I found out, guys, about playing the Catan Rise of the Incas in a quick, summarized form. So there's extra resources. These guys here, all they do is they help you with trade. This row right here. Now, something also unique is the game doesn't have necessarily victory points, as it does have transition of your tribes. And what that means is you go from first tribe to second tribe to third tribe, and you try to gain or grow as big as you can over and over again. But the thing is, after you grow, your old places get taken over. And you have to restart with one settlement and go from there again. Beyond that, uh, that's really all that's unique about the Gatan Rise of the Inca. Now, it is a unique way to play. And if you get bored of playing the original one, it's definitely something to check out. But if you're not playing it, you're not missing out on too much. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe if you like our content and make our struggle a little bit less of a struggle. Appreciate you.